Hi, Lance Gawicki and Jay Chung here at IFAS University, and today we're going to talk about mirroring for coaches. So I have a funny story for you, Lance. My dad was talking to one of his friends, and this friend had gone to a concert or something like that, and was shouting or whatever, and had lost his voice. So he came back, and his voice was really raspy. Okay, so my dad was talking to him over the course of several minutes, and this friend leaned over and said, you don't have to whisper. <laughs> okay, so what was happening was my dad was speaking at his normal voice, and then this guy was speaking like this. And then eventually my dad just kind of like came down to match this guy's voice without realizing That's it, so right? Cool. <laughs> and this happens, research shows that this happens almost all the time. You know, people are not aware of it, so it's very subconscious. But even the way we were standing when we, we started filming this, you know, I was maybe subconsciously mirroring Lance or the other way around. And I find that I do this with my clients. I don't know if you do with your clients. All the time. All the time. Yeah. So, for example, I have a client with a very thick southern Indiana accent. And I don't do it on purpose, but, you know. <laughs> you just did. I don't, I don't do it on purpose. But, but when, she's, when she talks, she talks about she's going to do the wash today. <laughs> and, and I find that by the end of that session, I'm drawling a, a little bit. Totally. Yeah, and I'm yeah. speaking a little bit slower. And I'm a little more lively than I would be with someone else who's a little more energy, a, lo a little bit more low energy than this client. And so we just do this subconsciously, but... Some people have a hard time with things like this, and, and they, they might not be aware that th this is a thing that people do to show that they have rapport with people, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's, it's kind of awkward for me to talk about this on camera because I don't know what to tell people, Yeah. right? <laughs> like, if, if you're good at it, you do it already, and if you're not good at it and I tell you to do it, then you're gonna do it awkwardly, <laughs> and, and they're gonna think you're weird. <laughs> So I don't exactly know how to be helpful in here, but just I to apologize point out, for making you do this. No, I <laughs> but but just just to point it out, um, you know, research shows that if you do mirror people, hopefully subconsciously, but even consciously, as long as you're not too overtly obvious about it, people like you more. Yeah. You know, if you're a salesperson, they're more likely to buy something from you. If you're a coach they're more likely to listen to you. They're more mm -hmm. likely to come back and sign up for more sessions. Yeah. So this is su something super uh, important, but it's hard to do if you're not doing it already. Um, and, and so I guess my advice for people would be to start doing one thing, maybe once per session with a client. So if they're, okay. if they're standing on you know, their right leg, you know, I'm gonna kind of mirror them a little bit, um, but I don't worry about anything else for the rest of that session. But just some things that people subconsciously mirror are things like tone of voice, you know, how loudly you speak, how fast you speak, how much you use your hands, you know, how you stand, your facial expressions. All of these things are, are big factors in building rapport and making people feel comfortable. So even if you're not good at it, this is something that you can start trying. And I would say that maybe I wasn't super good at it 10 years ago. So I would I would agree that yeah. the same thing for yeah. me. Yeah. Totally. And so it's like you just start doing it, maybe you're a little awkward at it at first, but you do it over and over and over again and you fake it till you become it, right? Yeah, and yeah. sure it becomes more natural for you. So look at look at me. I'm standing on his <laughs> back leg just like this. Um, so just try it out and if you have success with it, let us know. And if you're struggling with it, keep on going and it'll get better after about six thousand repetitions. <laughs>